Good day everyone, my name is David Mai and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV. Now I just wanted to touch base with everyone. <sighs> Reef stock has been postponed. Unfortunately, uh, Sydney is in the grips of a, uh, you know, a bit of a breakout of coronavirus at the moment. So to all my uh, friends and reefers and uh, store owners who are in Sydney at the moment, I wish you guys all the best and I hope you guys stay safe and well and you got, your state can navigate uh, what you guys are going through at the moment, and we can come out of this on the other side altogether. But uh, we are, uh, unfortunately, we have had to postpone uh, reef stock. Uh, now, the new dates for the show is actually for October the 30th and the 31st. So only, uh, you know, a couple of months delay, which is going to give you plenty of time, hopefully, for us to get through all of that's happening at the moment, all the border closures and everything else. And uh, let's hopefully... Hope that all the uh, borders can open back up to all the different states and we can have a max capacity show. Now, uh, you know, I was up in Sydney. Um, how long was I going to Sydney? Just before all this craziness happened in Sydney. Um, and I actually got to check out the venue. I managed to break, out, break in inside uh, and the venue was massive. So I might as well share with you guys a quick tour of the venue that Reefstock is going to be held at, which is at Hall 5. Now they have booked just the front section. If there is any capacity issues, um, they can actually expand the venue to make it incredibly huge, which is gonna be able to allow us to allocate uh, everyone into the venue. Um, and to all the vendors who've had to you know, postpone their flights, postpone their accommodation, thank you, you guys, for putting in the efforts to you know, still try and make it to the show. I know it's uh, incredibly frustrating. It can be a little bit difficult. It's a lot of effort to go through to vendor for the show. And I hope everyone that does attend Reefstock will appreciate the fact about how much effort that vendors go th through uh, in order to be able to have a show for everyone and to attend these events. And I hope that everyone can get behind it and support it and try our absolute hardest uh, to get behind the event. But uh, I'll flick it over to this video now. I haven't seen Aston on the, on the channel for a little while, have you? Yeah, but uh, I'll show you guys a video now of the tour of the venue um, and how to get in and everything else. But uh, disregard any of the dates that I mentioned in the video. It is going to be October the 30th and the 31st. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys there. <laughs> Today on FTI TV, we're gonna check out the location where Reefstock Australia is gonna be held at Hall 5 at the showground. G'day everyone, my name is David Mai and welcome back to First Time Read for TV. And today, I've actually made my way down to the Sydney showgrounds here at Homebush Stadium to give you guys a sneak peek of how big this venue is going to be for Reefstock. And Reefstock, just a reminder, is happening August 7th and 8th at the Sydney showgrounds right here. And I'll show you guys uh, maybe some of the locations of where we can stay uh, and what, what's around and how to get here as well. So, just see Lamb lurking in the back corner there, but uh, the, the, the door actually just happens to be open. So I actually don't know if I'm allowed to be in there, but if it's unlocked, I haven't broken in. And uh, let's see how we go, but uh, this is the front door. And you walk inside and you guys are going to be blown away with how big this venue actually is. Um, so I'll spin the camera around. That's where you come through. And these are the two entry doors here and here. Um, and you can hear by the echo, that's probably going to give you an indication of how big this room is. So uh, there is a uh, dividing wall here. And that is actually the halfway point of the size of this show. So I'm going to spin the camera around now and give you guys an, <laughs> an idea of how big half this venue is going to be. So uh, this is going to be one side of it. Um, so this is the entry point behind me. You walk in, left-hand side. Platinum booth is going to be uh, in the middle here. Uh, I'll try not to give you guys a headache, but Platinum booth will be just right in the middle here. And you've got all the vendors. I think from this side, you're starting off with, uh, I think there's uh, Nick's Oceanarium Aquarium, uh, Ben Thompson, Sustainable Reefs Boys. Then you've got uh, Aqua Depot and Aquarium Gallery down the end there, which is the gold sponsor. Uh, you've got pet quarters in the middle here. 
um, and then I think sunny nature aquariums along the back wall there. There's actually room for expansion as well to go further if this show does get any bigger. Um, but that's going to be one half of it. And if we walk around to the other side, which is uh, the second main entry, and we walk in, this is the other half of the venue, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, walk in, and you got uh, Salty Pets Boys, you got uh, Lamb Dome from Fisher Friends, you got Fine Pebble Aquarium. Uh, in the middle here, you got Cracking Corals, X Frags, which is Michael Shah, I think. Uh, Jerem from Batavia might be coming down as well. I think he's sussing out. You got uh, Frankie's Frags in the back corner there. And I should probably remember all of these names, but uh, I can't believe how big this venue is. Um, it's absolutely monstrous and there's going to be plenty of doors uh, for the vendors that are bumping in. There's lots and lots of access to get through. Uh, there's great parking out the front as well. I think you can uh, request to get a permit to park uh, for a short while out the front. Um, there are toilets in the venue as well. If we turn around this way, there's going to be a toilet access in the back corner there. Also a roller door, which I think a lot of the um, uh, bumping in will happen from. But I think this is unreal how big this venue actually is. Um, I mean, down this area, we've got uh, the raffle area as well. What's over on this side? There's even more space. There's just one creepy chair in the corner. Uh, so there is heaps of room for expansion to go a lot further. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the raffle area. But this is, man, unbelievable how big it is. And uh, so, yeah, Reefstock, August 7th and 8th. This is probably, I don't know, five times the size, four times the size of uh, the previous shows. So... It's pretty exciting, but most importantly, access point. There is a roller door there, so getting stuff in and out is going to be uh, much easier than what it was at the Stamford, bumping in and bumping out. No lifts required. Uh, there's power points all along the walls here. Uh, there is a Sparky on site to work with the vendors from the Friday, Saturday, uh, and the Sunday. So there's going to be uh, yeah, plenty of hands on deck to make this uh, happen. What have we got over here? These are electrical rooms. Yeah, probably not uh, not needed for us. But uh, the main entrance to Reefstock Australia is going to be incredible. So I'll take you guys for a walk outside now, so we can actually work out where the uh, where the hotels are going to be, how to get here in public transport, where you can park, and a playground which is over in the back corner here. I'll flick the car, actually. I'll turn around. So we've got uh, heaps of parking out the front here. I think this is a two hour zone or a ticketed parking zone. So if you do want to park your car, um, I'll double check whether there's actually on-site parking that you can pay for as well. That's a part of the showgrounds. Um, but across the road, if you've got any young children, there is an exercise yard, a playground, a park, a water fountain. And then uh, if we go down this way, which I'll take you guys for a sec, you've got the accommodation and uh, also mm, the station too. So if we come around the back here, this is the back of the uh, hall number five. You can see back there was just the street access for you to uh, get your vehicles through. I'm not sure, if, I'm pretty sure you can, yeah, you can actually drive through uh, all the way up into here. Uh, right down the end there, which is the entrance to get through, drive through. And you've got uh, the roller door here that you can get all your stuff through, as well as the smaller doors. So spaces to park your trucks, four vendors, which is obviously really important <laughs> to make things a bit easier for you guys, especially for the guys that are actually having to move in tanks as well. Um, but if we just walk down this way now, I'll show you guys where the accommodation and the train station is. Hall is down that way. Behind me here, we've got uh, Olympic Park Station, which you can catch a uh, train from the city straight to the venue here. 
And then behind me, over on this side, probably about 100 meters down the road, uh, you got the Novotel and the Pullman, which I think both are booked out with a special discount. But there's also the Ibis there, there's Quest Apartments, there are a heap of uh, hotels around here that are available for you to be able to book to come down to Reefstock. And don't forget, Reefstock is August 7th and 8th. Um, it's going to be an incredible show. And there is a bit of uh, coronavirus around Sydney at the moment, but in my opinion, this is the perfect time for them to have this sort of cluster outbreak rather than a couple of days before the show because it would definitely be uh, out of the question. But I think we're going to be fine uh, considering the track record of how long ago they've uh, had a previous outbreak, which is six months. So even with Melbourne, you get a sort of three to six month break uh, after a little cluster. So uh, don't fret, guys. Jump online, get your tickets, come down to the show. And uh, I look forward to seeing all of you guys here. But be sure to like this video if this helped you guys. Uh, and leave a comment down below if you've got any questions whatsoever. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Cost you nothing and absolutely helps the channel in growing a very, very long way. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, guys. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, peace.